Alrighty, um, like I said, I'm just going to play old games today. Um, maybe not for as long as I typically do, uh, because of, you know, my crappy internet here at my house. Uh, I thought I would continue on with the whole Sega Genesis thing that I've got going. Uh, this is Strider, one of my favorites when I was a kid. So, uh, join me, won't you? We'll play Strider for a little bit. Okay. Uh, it's kind of amazing to me, really, back in the day, this game, they really got pretty close to the arcade, which, on a little cheapo, couple hundred dollar Sega Genesis console back then, that's pretty impressive that they would get this close to the arcade. But anyway, enough nerding out, geeking out over it. <laughs> I don't understand why it's in Russia. Nobody's ever explained that to me. I thought this was pretty cool, you know, he's got a sword. It's kind of an unusual thing for a video game. Sorry, pause. So you open these little robots, they're supposed to walk around and help you, but I never really saw that they did much of anything. And I don't understand why these little robot guys here with the knives. <laughs> Why are they wearing raccoon caps? They're robots. Like, uh, you know, David Crockett wouldn't be anything in Russia, I wouldn't think. But, whatever. See, they help you, they like, blow stuff up. Ah! Drills! Oh, oh no! Dude, with too many steroids. It's like Ivan Drago from Rocky. He blew up everywhere. I don't understand why that makes the building explode and fall down on you either, but it's a video game. I suck at stuff, I really do. I'm sorry. It's got these little, like, robot bugs that bring you stuff too. I don't understand what that's about. Guy shooting ping pong balls at me. And like I said, I have to lower the quality on these because I was doing some of my first few videos at high definition, and uh, I have really crappy internet in my house. It's a uh, CenturyLink, but I'm way out in the boonies here in Naples, Florida, and uh, it's just really bad. It's like DSL almost. So I gotta drop them down to 480. But I figure most of you guys probably watch this stuff on your phones nowadays anyway, so those little tiny screens, you don't need freaking high definition. Especially if I play these old fart, old fogey video games I'm playing. We played these on good old fashioned uh, eye cancer causing cathode ray TV sets back in the day. And all they did was 480, so. Alright, so he's going into, like, some kind of communist government building here. But apparently all of their representatives in their government can turn into a giant communist centipede. See, it has the hammer and sickle and everything. I think these guys developed this game, they were dropping acid or something. Yay, I blew it up! This little freeze frame thing, I used to always love when I was a kid to try to get him to stop when he was like upside down or something. But you really think you can win? You'll never defeat the master. Hmm, it's Strider Haru. He will never leave Eurasia alive. I gotcha. Whoever that guy is, some kind of robot. These walls must be laced with explosives. They explode when I slash them with my sword. Oh no, not exploding walls! Oh, in my last video, I don't know if any of you guys watched that. I don't know if anybody's watching this either. 
That's just the, you know, the hope of it. Put it out there, maybe somebody died again. Maybe somebody will like this garbage. But, um, last video was, uh, Rolling Thunder 2, which is another one of my favorites from the old Sega Genesis days. But I cut it really short because I was afraid of the size of my file upload. But this time I'm going to take a little longer. And I'll probably revisit that later and play it further. If anybody cares. I mean, this would be the dream, you know? Just sit around here, play video games, be an idiot, and people pay you for it. Well, Google pays you for it, people click on your ads or whatever. But it's kind of like trying to catch lightning in a bottle, you know, these, uh, Markiplier, um, what's his name, PewDiePie, those guys, Van Oz Gaming. I don't know how the heck they did it, you know? If anybody's got any insights, comment, let me know, that's great, but it's just like, boom, they somehow struck a nerve and everybody loves them, so hoping that, you know, people have pity on poor old me, watch my videos, find them entertaining, as I try to make an idiot of myself, because I really have no shame. At this point, I just don't care anymore. <laughs> Been married for 13, well, no, married for almost 17 years now. Five kids. Reminds me of Jim Gaffigan. He had a bit. Um, he has a bit. He says, uh, You want to know what it's like having five kids? Just imagine you're drowning and someone hands you a baby. <laughs> I've always found that to be pretty true. Ah! Hey, good God. Okay. This guy's pain in the butt. I don't know, it might be easier to get if I had, I don't know, maybe a gun instead of a sword. Oh, and I don't know if you guys will hear any weird noises in the background either. Like I said, I have five kids. Five kids, two big dogs, a couple cats, a wife. There may be some noise in the background. I have my headphones in because I'm listening to my game here, but... If you hear anything, I'm sorry. Just, you know, be voyeuristic. <laughs> hey, I'm looking in on this guy's life. Ugh. I can usually kill this guy pretty easy, but not today. What's that? Video game for your home console. Who cares about time? Like there's gonna be somebody behind me mad because they can't put their quarter in the machine. Okay, let's try it again. You usually have to just jump and slash at the guy. Hopefully you'll hit him. I don't know why he's so good. It's usually easy for me to kill. Of course, then again, I am an older guy, and I've not played this game in a long time, so I've been losing my touch. Come on! Usually when I play this game, it's just like, I got the guy. Figure since I'm recording it.
Make sure you put parachutes on them, otherwise they could conk him in the head. You don't want him to get the concussion before he blows up. I don't know what that means in Japanese, they have a little Japanese symbol that he picks up. If anybody out there is, you know, what is it, kanji? Is that what they call it, kanji characters? If anybody out there is an expert, feel free to tell me. Here's my daughter. Alright, well, I'm gonna call it quits for this round because my daughter just came in, so. See you guys later. Have fun. 